is going on guys nameless here bringing you guys a brand new video and today is a different type of video it's a wonderful day and i wanted to step away from call of duty news here for just one day and give you guys a setup tour i know a lot of you guys have been requesting that uh, a lot of people on twitter and in the comments have been wondering what my office looks like so i'm going to give you guys pretty much a guided tour of all the different types of equipment and things that i've acquired over the years uh now keep in mind guys you don't need all this type of equipment to create content uh, i've just been doing this for a very long time we're going on 12 years now since i was a pro player and now content creator slash analyst for the cod league um and some of these things you need some of them you don't but i'm gonna talk to you guys about pretty much everything but i've always had a desire to have a pretty much high level immaculate setup so i can be comfortable creating content and producing videos because i'm a strong believer that if you invest in yourself then you will get direct results so um without further ado let's check out what i got going on all right guys let's get into the setup tour so after some sick b-roll shots let's check out what i got going on so this is the entire setup i'm gonna use the steadiest hand that i can um my girlfriend's setups over there <laughs> and this is mine so i pretty much take up the bulk of the room she did this entire collage wall which i think is dope i have like my memorabilia and stuff in this corner and then just some like pictures and stuff that i enjoy that i think brings out the personality in the room uh up there you have sinatra because we both like sinatra a lot j cole my favorite rapper and it's actually the lyrics to love yours in that song, in that uh, picture up there, that make it up, which I think is cool. A scuff, gift, Guardians of the Galaxy, a no Wi-Fi sign, which is a inside joke. A ukulele, which I don't play the ukulele, but I just we just think it's cool. A Banksy image and a cowboy hat. But anyways, let's get into the actual equipment uh, of the setup and let's talk about what I got going on, man. So I'm gonna go uh, left to right here and just basically go over everything. So first things first, you got to always have some good scent going on in the office room. So that is a wax burner right there. It smells fantastic and it just uplifts the room. All right, so the Elgato key lights, I have two of these. This is how you get that good skin tone and how you make yourself look darn good when you're recording content and shooting videos. These things are important, man. Um, I wouldn't say they're necessary, but they're important if you want to level up your content creation. So I highly recommend those. Um, but moving on, I have a uh, 240 hertz Alienware monitor that I play games on. Um, this is basically just my gaming monitor. It's only hooked up to that PC, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, but that is my gaming monitor. And then right there is a 144 hertz BenQ monitor. But I actually keep it in 60 hertz because it's just hooked up to the streaming and content machine, which is my other PC. And then that is a 32 inch 4K monitor that I use also for my streaming PC to create content and stuff like that. So I have three pretty good monitors. All you really need is two standard monitors. Um, obviously I've upgraded over time, but this is what I'm working with. Right here I have the Logitech, I uh, forget the name of it, but it is one of the G Pro um, keyboards and it is fully wireless. You charge it once like this and it lasts like three days. So this thing is fantastic. It's actually like, metal or some sort of um i don't know alloy i'm trying to sound smart but it's it's pretty dense and it sounds great it's actually like the best keyboard i've ever used in my life and it minimizes wires and i have the g pro mouse right here which i absolutely love this thing is a beast i use both of these for my gaming uh, computer what the cool thing about it is i actually have the usb plugged into my streaming computer so if i need to use this keyboard and i don't want to reach all the way over there i can just plug it in and it, it works with my other computer so I have the stream deck as well, so I can do cool things during the stream, turn my lights on and off. And then right next to that is the Shure SM7B. Um, this is like a pretty expensive mic, so it took me a while. I mean, I've been doing this for 12 years and I didn't pull the trigger on this thing until literally this year. And I've been doing podcasts for three years now. So um, a good starter mic that I used for a long time was the AT2020 USB mic, which I still think is fantastic. So if you guys are wanting to get a mic, that's a good one, but obviously, this is pretty much the benchmark for podcast and uh, on-air talent slash content creators. It's the shirt. Uh, I have another mouse here, which is a Razer mouse that they sent me. I uh, appreciate them for that. This is plugged into the streaming PC. Uh, scuff, because I when I game on FPS, I use a Scuff controller. Um, the Logitech G Pro uh, keyboard as well right here that I use on my streaming PC slash content PC. Uh, and then back here you have my A50 base station, my modem slash router, and then also 
the Focusrite Scarlet that I use to plug my mic in. And that is also how I get dual PC audio. I have a line out going to the gaming PC um, and things of that sort. All right, I'll have it be known that I just spilled G Fuel everywhere in the making of this video and it was right next to my surge protector. My heart dropped if I were to break everything while recording a video on my setup. But anyways, let's move on. So this is the new absolute beast of a PC. This thing, I will put the specs on the screen right now because I don't even really want to go through all of it. All I know is 3080 is in this bad boy and it is a beast, man. I love this computer. Um, it was built with care by my friend Paradox. I'll put his link in the description below as well. You see the RAM up there, my logo on it. I mean, I just think this case is the best case ever. This is the L11 or O11 Dynamic made by Razer. Um, this thing is absolutely beautiful, man. I couldn't have asked for anything better and he snapped on the build. Um, if you have the money to do it and you wanna build a machine, a, a beast machine to run games and and you know, stream and stuff like that. This is the PC for you. Um, I think that this thing is just absolutely fantastic and check it out. And last but not least guys, we have the streaming PC. Now this is the old bad boy. It did me right for years. Also built by Paradox. It's a bit dusty, but it gets the job done. And then you can see this catastrophe of wires here, which I have a modesty panel to hide most of the wires. So when you're over here, you don't see too much, man. Uh, and if there's anything we forgot, it's probably the chair. Um, this is to save my back. I have the Herman Miller. So as you can see, I've invested a lot into it, guys. You don't need all this, but I've had a lot of requests for a setup video. So now you have it. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.